Today I'm going to answer a request by one of my viewers. His name is Melvin Scott and he asks, could you do how to make a tag? So if this is something that you might be interested in, that you might like, please stay tuned and do not go away. first thing you need to do is download this free program called Audacity. And this is a recording program for you to record your vocals because you cannot record vocals, unfortunately, in LMS. So make sure that you go into uh, Google and just type down Audacity and download this free recording program. So uh, I'm going to make this tag and I am going to kind of sort of make fun of DJ Cali. Nothing against DJ Cali. I like the guy. I think he's a great producer. He done some awesome things. But just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to kind of copy him and just make it kind of comedic uh, for me, I guess. So I hope that you like it. So without further ado, let me get started. So to do that, you need to go here where it says uh, record in this red button. Then click on it and let's start recording. We the worst music, DJ Crappy. All right, so there you have it. Again, nothing against DJ Cali. I like the guy, but I just wanted to do something a little funny here. So uh, as you can see, it records everything in stereo. So we need to get it out of being in stereo and put it in mono. So you double click to highlight everything. You go right here to tracks and you click on stereo track to mono. So you click there and it makes it just one track. So now we're going to delete all the stuff that we don't need. So here at the end and over here at the beginning. So again, you click on what, what you want to delete and highlight it all the way back. Click on this little scissors right here and it's cut. Now we're going to do the same thing for the front here. I mean, for the end, I should say, and then click on it and delete it. Now I'm going to make this part a little shorter as well. So I'm going to do it like right there. Then I'm going to cut it. Now, we're going to add some effects to this and, and try to make it sound a little different. So once you click and highlight everything, you go into effects. The first thing that I like to do is I go into equalization. This is something that I learned from a YouTube channel that I was watching before, and I will have the link in the description below. So that way you will learn how to make your voice sound better as well. Okay. So here I, I boosted the bass and I boosted a little bit of the treble. And because I am a guy and uh, I want my bass or my voice to sound deeper, so that's why I boosted the bass. But for the girls, you don't need to boost the, boost the bass. You could just uh, boost a little bit of the treble. And uh, just hit OK. And then I want to make this louder as well. So we're going to go into the compressor. And um, at this point, what I would tell you to do is just pause the video and look at my settings. If you want to copy it the same way I did it, you can do that. Just mess with this until you get uh, the way that you want it to sound if you don't like my settings, okay? So now I hit okay, and now it's super loud. But it also, what's gonna happen, it's gonna hit the threshold here and it's gonna be way too loud past the zero. So if we listen to this now. We the worst music. DJ Crappy. So you see how it goes into the red? We don't want that. So now what we need to do is we go into effects and we go down here and we go into the limiter. Again, you could copy my settings if you like or just play around with these until you find something that you like. All right, so I put it on minus five dB and hit okay. And now everything is leveled off. So if I play this, it's going to be around here. So let's hear it one more time. We the worst music, DJ Crappy. All right, so now from here, we're going to start adding some effects. So I'm going to go down here to, let's see, I should say on top. So we got the compressor. We're going to add the echo to it. So now to the echo, I added this delay time second by 0.3 and the decay factor by 0.02. All right. Um, you could experiment and try different things until you find the one that you like. 
So let's take a listen to this. We the, we the worst, worst music. music. DJ, DJ Crappy. All right, so that brought the echo into this. Now I'm going to go down to where it says classic filters. And uh, let me see. I'm going to put a high pass. Should I put a high pass? Yeah. And I'm going to try one of these. Let's try that one. Let's listen to it. We the, we the worst, worst music. music. DJ, DJ Crappy. So I like that. So I'm going to hit OK with that. Now I brought it down a little bit more. So the next thing I'm going to do is. Uh, actually, let me add an EQ to this. Uh, and then I'm going to add this. Uh, and this is right from audacity itself and i'm going to add the uh, let's listen to the telephone we the, we the worst, worst music, music. dj, DJ crappy i kind of like that one we could try the walkie talkie actually let's try the am, AM radio we the, we the worst, worst music, music. DJ, dj crappy i didn't like that one let's try the walkie-talkie. We the worst music. DJ Crappy. I like that one. So I'm going to use that one and I'm going to hit OK. And that, my friend, is how you create your own tag. I mean, you could try different things, different effects until you find the one that you like, uh, until it sounds the way that you want it to sound. So let's add a facer to this. And... Let's see. We the worst music. DJ Crappy. I like that. Let me apply that as well. Let's listen to it again. We the worst music. DJ Crappy. And you could just continue to add different effects until you get what you want out of it. So let's try the wah wah. I don't like that one, so I'm not going to add that one. So there you have it. This is how you make your own tag. So uh, what you can do is you just put a beat on top of there. And then you listen to this and see if it's something that you like on your own beat. And then you could put it anywhere on your beat. I don't know if this is just the instrumental. So I'm going to try this one. I don't think this is just the instrumental, but that's okay. Then if you want to move this one over, what you do is you double click on it. You click on this little uh, arrow here, time shift tool, and then you can move it anywhere you want. So I'm going to move it right there. I don't know the speed that I made. Uh, I, have, I don't remember it, but let's listen to this anyway. We the worst music. So let's start from the beginning. Uh, click on this little tool right here and click here at the beginning should click right here so now it picks everything up so let's play this we the worst music oh. so there you have it that's the tag that i put here at the beginning of this beat um, if you have your own beat and you want to just put this all over your beat so nobody will steal it, what you do is you uh, double click on this again to highlight the whole thing. Then you click here where it's copy. You click on paste and then you put it wherever you want it. So let's put it right here and then I'm going to click on paste. So now I have it there. Let's click right here and paste again. So now it's right there. So let's take a listen to this. It's not a great beat guys, please. This is a song that I made a while back and uh, I forgot that I put vocals on this and I also did this with Audacity. It's not great, but anyways, let's take a quick listen. We the worst music. Oh. So 
So there you have it. That's how you create your own little tag using Audacity, which is a free software for recording that you can download out of the internet. So I hope that you learned something new. I hope that you got something out of this and I can't wait to see you in the next tutorial that I'm going to make. Thank you guys. Have a blessed, blessed day.